Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay ko po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagagampanan na huwag maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw ng ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming pagawa, ikaw po ang aming makasama. Amen. Good day everyone! How are you? Welcome to another day of virtual discussion brought to you by Valenzuela Live. I am Ma'am Jack, your teacher in TLE7 Electricity. Are you ready? I know you are. So get your pen and learning tablets together with your open ears and focused mind and enjoy, relax, and learn at the same time. But before we proceed to our new topic, I want to know how much you've learned from your previous lesson. Let's have a game, and this is called Name That Thing. I will give you five seconds to give your answer on the comment box. Letters only. Wait for my keyword, Name That Thing, before answering. Let's start. What is in the picture? Letter A, switch. Letter B, mail plug. Or letter C, outlet. Name that thing. The answer is letter B, mail plug. Very good. Next, look at the picture. Is it letter A, hacksaw? B, jigsaw? Or letter C, handsaw? Name that thing. And the answer is letter A, hacksaw. Great. Another. What is in the picture? Letter A, power box. Letter B, junction box. Or letter C, utility box. Name that thing. The right answer is letter C, utility box. Good job. Another one. Can you tell me what is in the picture? Is it letter A, clump? Letter B, lamp holder? Or letter C, connector? Name that thing. Your answers are correct. Letter B, lamp holder. Last picture. Do you know this thing? Is it letter A, wire stripper? Letter B, pliers? Or letter C, alligator clip. Name that thing. The correct answer is letter A, wire stripper. Great job. Before we proceed to our new topic, I want to ask you a few questions. Have you experienced ordering in a fast food and along the line one of the crew approached you and already asked for your order. Afterwards, the crew will give you a piece of paper wherein your orders are already written there. What do you think is the benefit of it? Correct! You don't need to think in front of the cashier before your order is in the order slip, which is related in our topic. So will you arrange the jumbled letters to find out what is our lesson for today? I will give you 10 seconds to think. If your answer is a different kind of forms used in electrical work, then you are correct. Our topic for today is use the appropriate form in requesting electrical tools, supplies, and materials for a specific job. Our learning competency is to prepare electrical materials and tools, and our learning targets are 
identify different types of forms used in requesting electrical tools, supplies, and materials for a specific job. Value the importance of using different types of forms used in requesting electrical tools, supplies, and materials for a specific job and prepare an example of forms used in requesting electrical tools, supplies, and materials for a specific job. Here are the examples of different forms used in electrical grid. We have requisition slip form, inventory of materials form, job order or work form, and borrowers form. So what is requisition slip form or purchase requisition? It is a document generated by a user department or storeroom personnel to notify the purchasing department about the items it needs to order, their quantity, and the time frame. It may also contain the authorization to proceed with the purchase. This is also called purchase request form or requisition slip form. Here is the example form and how to fill this out. You should put your name. Example, Jacqueline T. De La Cruz. Project is extension for. Our location is in the electrical laboratory and the purpose is for additional outlet for gadgets. Number is for sequ sequencing of the item. Quantity is the amount of the materials given on the description. Unit is the measurement instrument used. Unit cost is the cost per unit of the materials and the total cost is the sum of all the expenses. So, I will read to you the example. Three meter flat board number 14, unit cost is 16 pesos. 16 pesos multiplied by its quantity which is 3, the total cost is 48. One piece mail plug, unit cost is 20 pesos. And one piece convenience outlet 2 gang, the unit cost is 30 pesos. The total cost, 48 plus 20 plus 30 is equal to 98 pesos. Next form is inventory form. Inventory form is a data tool used for recording items like raw materials, goods, assets, and the like. It is also an important part of efficient inventory management that helps in monitoring the entire stock in one place. Here is an example of inventory form. You should put your details if you are the one conducting the inventory. Tools and equipment. Put here the list of the different tools that is subject for inventory. Example, Phillips screwdriver, hammer, long nose pliers. Quantity is the total number of available tools. For example, Phillips screw, 10. And the number of functional are tools that are working well, while non-functional are tools that doesn't work well, but can be repaired. Tools that are condemnable are for disposal or should be thrown away. It can be allocated at an area for scrap equipment. These are tools that can't be fixed anymore. Number of borrowed are the quantity of tools borrowed, and number of missing are the number of lost tools. Hard react if you don't have a question. Next is job order or work for. It is a written instruction to perform a task according to specified requirements, time frame, and cost estimates. A work order is a document that provides all the information about a maintenance task and outlines a process for completing that task. Here is the example of a work order form. Last form that we're going to discuss is 
borrower's form. It is a form used to request for tools and equipment needed for a particular job. It indicates the department the borrower is concerned, is connected with the date, the job that is to be done, the person who will approve the request when it was returned, and if it is was in good condition. Here is another simplified borrower's form. Any question? If not, click smile. To sum up today's discussion, we have different kinds of form used in electrical work. Can you tell me what are those? These are requisition slip form, inventory of materials form, job order or work form, and borrower's form. Remember, correctness of the entry of different forms used in electrical work is necessary in order to acquire right, complete, and accurate number of materials and tools needed in a specific electrical job. To check your understanding about our lesson, let's do this activity. Fill out the requisition form below. When buying the materials needed for your project extension cord with 4 meters flat cord. I will give you 2 minutes to complete the form and you can start answering now. Up, send your answer to your subject teacher for checking. For your evaluation, answer this on your notebook. I'll give you another two minutes for this activity. And your timer starts now.
time is up. Let us now check your work. A document generated by a user, department, or storeroom personnel to notify the purchasing department of items it needs to order, their quantity, and the time frame. The correct answer is letter... Letter D. Requisition slip form. Number 2. Is a data tool used for recording items like raw materials, goods, assets, and the like? The correct answer is letter, letter E, Inventory of Materials for. Number three, a form used to request for tools and equipment to be used for a particular job. The correct answer is letter, letter B, Borrower's Form. And number four, a written instruction to perform a work according to specified requirements within specified time frame and cost estimate. The correct answer is letter F. Job order or work order form. And number five, it refers to the goods and materials that a business holds for production resale. The correct answer is letter a. Inventory. Is there any question regarding our topic? If not, here is your assignment. Answer what I can do on your TLE module. How do you find our lesson for today? Did you enjoy it? If you learned for our discussion today, please comment a heart emoticon. Great! It's good to know that you have enjoyed today's topic. If you need to clarify something, don't hesitate to ask your subject teachers. They would love to entertain you all. That's all for today. I am Ma'am Jack. See you on our next Valenzuela Live.